Hello everyone and welcome to my coloring corner. Today is thankful Thursday and we have all sorts of wonderful happy mail that came in over the week. Now I did purchase all of these things for um, our water uh, water coloring and adventures and endeavors. Um, I already had a bunch of watercolor pens, but I didn't have any sort of crayons. So after talking with a couple of different people that use watercolor crayons and whatnot, I went for a search on a search for a medium price brand and a really, really cheap brand. Now, these ones are the King Art mixed media gel sticks they're a 48 color box and they're a soft buttery texture they're really really nice uh, they do have a um, light um, light writing you know all that sort of stuff i'm going to open them up here and show you the packaging I just love the packaging. This The company really thought out um, how they packaged their stuff, which is really cool. It comes in four different um, plastic holders with each color family in it. You know, so it goes from yellows to red, yellows, oranges, reds, purple, um, red, violet kind of colors into the purples. This one here might might be better off there. Into the blues, the sea greens, into the greens, browns, blacks, gold and silver. And then from gold and silver, it goes into white, uh, black, and then actually I might want to change these two into this package and put the gold and silver in here because these are all metallics. So these are all sparkly shinies. Absolutely wonderful, wonderful little set. And like I said, it's 48 colors, 48 crayons. So to me, that's um, that's a lot for cream, cream crayons and for watercolors because I don't do watercoloring a lot. And I have um, watched a video on uh, doing backgrounds and stuff like that with these cream colors. And I've watched different things uh, from other YouTubers on the Neo uh, colors and all those other cream crayon, watercolor crayons. So I'm going to try to do some backgrounds with them as well as, of course, use them as watercolors. So that was the first set I bought. And then I thought, you know, these were expensive and on Amazon, they're really expensive. I got them on sale at uh, uh, Zoo Lily and even with the shipping, they were over $30, uh, 35, I think they were. And on Amazon, they're almost $50 and on their own website right now they're on sale. Um, so you can get them cheaper right now on their own website. Um, I do believe they're on sale for $39.99, but regularly they're really expensive too. So I thought, okay, let's look at a budget-friendly um, crayon. These are um, they're called A Fan. There's 48 colors, same as the other one. Uh, they are water soluble. They do turn uh, as a dial and spin out and all that stuff. And they're nice and smooth and creamy, just like the other ones. Um, and they're adorable. These are smaller. They're not as big, which is going to come in handy when, you, when you're trying to do smaller things. And they have little giraffes and little foxes. And, you know, they're made for children, but they're so cute. I couldn't resist. Anyway, these have some metallics mixed in with them. Like this one here, you can tell is a metallic by the metallic sheen on the cap. 
they don't have any color names. Uh, the, the King Art does have color names. These don't have any color names or anything like that. But you swatch them out, you give them a number, you put them back in, in the order that you swatch them, and you're all good. And they're crayons. They're pretty much the color that they, that they look. So um, my suggestion if you want to get into doing some of these backgrounds or some, you know, play with some of these crayons, this set was $17.99 on Amazon. They have a coupon that brings it down to $15 um, on Amazon. So I will uh, post links for all of this, of course, in the about section. And just to give you a heads up, I am an Amazon affiliate now. So it will be an affiliate link and it will give me um, some funding, uh, just a few pens uh, pennies for the channel. So um, it does tell you uh, different painting methods. It tells you product features. Um, and everything else you know how to take them out and all that fun stuff um, tells you the ingredients you know it's uh, environmentally friendly family friendly you know basically of course everything's not suitable for children under three years old but they're just so cute so I got those as well and we will do a side-by-side -side, um, testing of these on another video between the King Art and the A fan. Now these ones are a water sol soluble colored pencil. They're not really expensive but they're not really cheap either. And that also came in the mail. Of course I will do a full review of these tomorrow. They are watercolor pencils. So of course, uh, during the swatch, we will do a watercolor swatching where I'll color an entire area and see how much of that pigment moves with water as we drag it down to the rest of the box. But we will take a closer look at those tomorrow as well. And they're called Popola, uh, Popiola. Another thing that you have seen me use several times this week, I have bought this satin glazing liquid um, from Golden. And I, I have been testing it out on different uh, papers to see if we can eliminate that curling that we get when we use watercolor um, paints and crayons and anything that has to do with water on our paper. So far, and I'll show you this one because, uh, oh, sorry about that, I put it away so it wouldn't get ruined and then I forgot to take it out again. So this is the one that we started yesterday on the work in progress Wednesday. I did finish it and I did post a picture of it. Now, what I want to show you is how flat it is. It is so flat. There is no curl to this piece of paper beyond on the ends where I had to peel it up. But in the picture itself, it is completely flat. There's very, very little wave there. You know, like when you look down the paper, there's a bit, just a little bit of a wave. But it's not all wonky like, you know, like, like it gets when you watercolor on a page, which is really cool to me. And I, I saturated quite a few areas. So it's not like it wasn't getting the moisture into it because I did. I saturated some, some really big areas there. So that is really, really cool to me that... We can do a water coloring on, on regular coloring paper. You know, this is 50 or 100 gram paper, but it's it's feels pretty close. A little bit more textured, a little bit a little bit better than than um, than crate paper, crate space paper, but 
it dried completely flat. To me, that's awesome. So I will be testing this a lot more as we go along. Now, another one that I wanted to show you that I have done recently, and I have posted, this was started on Tips and Tricks Tuesday, how to color, color silver. And the next item I'm going to show you is some little tools. Now, the light is a little bright, so I'm going to turn that down. So, as you can see, there's the, not sure if you can see it. You can see there's a texture all around the dial, the scroll work, as well as the numbers. And all of that detail and all of that texture is done with liquid pearls. This is all liquid pearls. And in order to do that detailing uh, as, you know, um, easily as possible without, you know, just completely covering an area and actually getting it to, to look like it was a piece of pearl with a onyx um, insert, I use this tool. Now these are a silicone based makeup brush and they use these for putting on muds and that sort of thing on your face. And I thought, well, why couldn't we use that for liquid pearls and uh, stickles and that sort of thing for spreading them because this will spread them. And, you know, it worked out really well. In this area, these areas, I used this little tiny tool to get into these fine details and not completely cover up everything with it. Just stick it and keep it in these fine details. Now, it's not as easy as it sounds with, you know, you can't just go scoop, 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 it's done. You have to move it along. So it is a little bit of a, a time consuming process just to get it to move in, in the directions you want it to move without covering up other details. That was the main thing was getting it to move and stay where you wanted it to stay without it covering up other details. But these tools worked very well for that. They did not, um, build up on the tool because it's a silicone it was easy just to wipe it right off and of course there's all different ones um, in this little set that i bought and we're going to try them on those uh, crayons too because i want to see if we can move that cream that creamy crayon around the paper with these big tools and try to get into some detail work and that sort of thing. You know, like I said, they've got some really, really great smaller tools that are great for details. Um, you know, if you're doing an edging here, you know, you can definitely do that. But I really, really like this tool. It worked really well. Now, the only other thing that I bought, and I thought I had one in here, but it doesn't seem to be in here, is because it's right there is this and as you can see i've used it it's dirty because i didn't wash it fast enough and it built up a little bit now i bought five of these and what they are is they are an acrylic soft palette and this is normally used also in makeup um, to put foundation on your face and all it is is silicone it's just a silicone based little sponge palette and it can also do all sorts of things um, and one more thing that I did get in that I completely forgot about because I stuck them away because I played with them a little bit
are these wonderful, wonderful little dew drops. Um, I haven't ever tried the dew drops before, so I did use them on a picture just to test them out and to see, and I'm missing one, to see if I could get it to do what I wanted it to do. And I tested it out on a Christine Caron picture that I colored um, recently on, I do believe it was a Saturday color and chat. I started it and I'm just gonna grab it for you. I just gotta make sure I gra grab the right one. Because it's in her new book, Fairies and Fantasies 2. And I'm going to show you the effects that I was able to get using these dew drops on this picture. For the sky. So the, the background here, the light, light purples and all that stuff and turn this up so that you can see it a little bit better. Um, here it's not really giving you a good view of it let's check the camera i've got you zoomed out quite a bit so it may have changed the the device's configuration so we're just gonna fix that a bit here there we go oh wrong way wrong way For some reason, my computer decided that it was going to do all of these horrible, horrible things. And um, did a complete restart and updates and all that fun stuff. And uh, yeah, decided that it was going to eliminate my camera and my camera program that I film with, which really kind of sucks. <laughs> okay, so I've got that, that color to where it's supposed to be here. So let's take a look. These purples and pinks and blues and greens that are all around her are these, these dew drops. And I put that on with a makeup sponge. Of course, there are all different ways that you can do this. I did it with a makeup sponge because I just wanted just little swooshes. And you can definitely do it with this. I'm gonna take, um, let's take a bit of purple here and just get it on there and just put it on. And just rub it in. But what I bought these for, and the reason why I bought them and what I'm going to use them for, and what I have been using them for, is a palette to put my liquid pearls on. When I'm using them for things like this, to keep that liquid pearl nice and steady. Yeah, see, as you can see, the colors are a lot more vibrant now because, yeah, they had messed my camera right up. See, even this one is more of the right colors. And we'll turn the light up a bit so you can see it better. There. But yeah, it's upside down. But anyway, um, but those are all the wonderful things that I got in the mail and uh, what I'm going to be doing with them. The dew drops, I'm going to be playing with all sorts of things. Um, I bought the wrong ones. So these ones are not wa water soluble. So I won't be using them a whole lot beyond doing um, backgrounds and that sort of thing. Um, maybe 
in the next little while because of the uh, the water the Aquarius February thing that I've got going on so because I'm working specifically in watercolors um, this month you probably won't see me use a lot of this but you will be seeing a lot of this and a lot of these and quite a bit of this because you know me in pencils i'm not a horrible um i'm not horribly fond of watercolor pencils uh but i did start coloring with them so um that's the funny thing is my first set of pencils were the fine touch watercolor pencils and that's what i actually started coloring with so you know back to the roots basically is where we're going with that <laughs> all right guys uh with that i thank you all so much for watching and i hope you have a fantastic day and i can't wait to show you each and every one of these items tomorrow on fun stuff friday of course remember to like comment and subscribe you know hit hit the like button for me it makes me feel good leave me a comment uh, to let me know if you enjoyed the video what you would like to see me doing differently you know things like that of course my cameras are a little messed up today so i do apologize for that um system reboots and whatnot uh windows updates that weren't expected um if you want to join us over on Facebook, please do so. I will leave a link down below in the um, about section of this video, as well as links to all of these products um, so that you can take a look of, at them on Amazon as well. Of course, they will be affiliate links because now I am an Amazon affiliate. So every time you buy something after clicking a link, it does give me a couple of pennies, which is wonderful. Um, and of course, last but not least, you know, please make sure that you relax, color, and stay safe. The one last thing I will say about the Facebook group, of course, is to make sure that you fill out the application form in full because we don't accept anybody that doesn't. Thank you so much for watching and thanks for your time today. Relax, color, and stay safe. Of course, hit the bell, make sure that you get the notifications for all of the videos that come out every day. All right, bye, guys, bye-bye for now. Thanks so much.